So now that we created our Facebook post, it is time to create the opt-in message. So inside my chatbot, I'm going to go with the top right button and press the new subflow. From here, I will go with a regular Facebook flow and I will call this, once you named your flow, just press create. And inside this flow, we're going to write our opt-in message. And when writing this opt-in message, there are a few things that you need to take into account. The first thing is that you can only send one message and also provide a means for the user to interact with. So like a regular button. The reason for this is because the commenter on your Facebook post might not be a subscriber towards your chatbot chat. So this message that we are sending inside of a PM is basically the opt-in message that that commenter needs to interact with. Soon as the commenter interacts with this message, for example, by pressing the button that's being provided, then we can continue the flow any way we like to. Also a good practice is to not include variables inside of the first opt-in message because it has been known that the opt-in message might fail because of that. So be sure to just not use variables like the first name, last name or username and any of that good stuff. So if we are going to abide by these rules, a opt-in message could look something like this. So if we take a look at what kind of opt-in message that we created is the following. So we are so excited to see you here and then strengthen that emotion with an emoji to make it even more clear that the business is really excited to have them here. And then we have something really simple like press the button below to claim the 50% off coupon. And then we have the actual button with claim 50% off with a fire emoji. So soon as a user presses this button, then we can continue the flow any way we like to, but we need to restrict the opt-in message to only one message block, one text message with a way of interacting. So like a regular button. So from here, we can basically continue any way we like to. So we could just go with a regular send message button again and then just give the user the coupon with a link to your web shop or if you have your e-commerce set up inside of your chatbot directly, you can redirect them back towards your e-commerce flow inside the chatbot. Could say something really, really simple like this. Perfect. Use the coupon code SUMMERSALE2022 on the checkout and you will receive a 50% off on your card items. First name. Press the button below to shop now and then this button can guide them towards your web shop or inside of a flow, an e-commerce flow inside of your chatbot. So now that we set up this opt-in flow, be sure to save it by pressing the blue button in the corner. There we go. So now this flow has been published. It is time to set up the comment keyword trigger for that specific Facebook post. And this we will cover inside of the next video.